Welcome to a special edition of Bourbon Country Reacts. Um, this is a special edition because you guys, we've I've talked about on the channel my breakdown of the uh, Ozzy song Crazy Train. And um, in my opinion, the guitar player for Ozzy at that time, uh, Randy Rhodes, um, was one of the greatest rock guitarists that ever lived. And I'm going to go ahead and warn you that as far as um, this breakdown goes, I've done it for, for friends and other people, and uh, they have told me that once I've explained what this song is from a musical perspective, they've never been able to unhear it. Um, I'm sorry the video is reversed, this Les Paul is completely backwards, so is the logo, but I'm in selfie mode on my phone since Dustin currently has all our recording equipment elsewhere. Um, but, uh, back to the song. So, um, uh, in some, at some point in the late 80s, uh, I remember reading an interview somewhere and hearing that reading that Randy Rhodes, one of his stated goals was to fuse um, blues and classical in rock. And I think that the song Crazy Train is, well, simply a master class in that. Um, it, it, probably his magnum opus. The, and you have to understand some history for that. So if you study American music history at all, at some point you're going to find yourself learning about Delta Blues because they're foundational to so much American music. And, you know, the, the origins of Delta Blues were, you know, the slave songs, the singing in the fields, the call and refrain, things like that. But one of the things that was critical at that time, uh, musically, was to mimic the sounds of your environment. And you really have nothing more significant in the Mississippi Delta at that time than the sound of a steam locomotive. And if you listen carefully to the guitar in Crazy Train, what you hear is that steam locomotive faithfully recreated in guitar. So to give you, to kind of illustrate this, I'm not going to play Crazy Train for you. I, I'm far too rusty as a guitar player. I, I really haven't picked this thing up in a year. Um, but... I'll give you examples from the song. So visually in your mind, I want you to kind of imagine sitting at, being at a train station in, uh, you know, in the era of the steam locomotive, pre-Civil War days, and kind of picture that train starting to chunk, 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 get moving as it's just pulling away from the station. And the way Rhodes kind of did it, depending on, on where you heard him playing, it may, it may have been, or it may have been, right? But what he was doing still was the chunk chunk sound of that uh, train pulling away from the station. And he, he would even end it by uh, that first intro by mimicking the whistle. With a pick slide. So that represents the train whistle. So now the train's left the station and it's starting to pick up a little speed through the countryside. Now what Rhodes did, he used a technique um, called, called pick harmonics, which I won't get into. But it gives, it gives a, a distorted guitar a, uh, a little bit of a squeal, kind of sounds something like this. So picture that train. It's picked up speed, dun 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 dun, 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 dun right? And, and to illustrate it better, I'll palm mute this so you can really hear. Right? 
right? So you, you get the idea. So then for the verse, what you really have, and, and, and Rhodes during, during the verses and the bridges does all kinds of really crazy things. Like he puts in, and, and this, this is something I've never been able to mimic. He puts in the squeaks of the wheels on the rails into the song through the guitar. It's really uh, some astonishing work. But as you get into the verse, you kind of have to picture the train just wide open through the countryside. Right? So that, that train is just flying wide open as fast as it can go. I'm going to turn my amp off now. And like I said, you guys, um, you're not hearing me play Crazy Train. You're hearing me give you some examples from Crazy Train. Um, so what I would encourage you to do to really understand this song, uh, get into the uh, YouTube search bar and just type in Crazy Train and listen to the studio version of that. As you're doing that, try and block out Ozzy's lyrics Try just completely block out the vocals and try and listen to the guitar and listen to how amazingly well that guitar mimics the sound of an old steam locomotive. So thanks for watching. Our uh, BCR's next video will be a reaction per normal. But uh, yeah, you guys asked for this, so there it is.